So hello everyone and welcome back to Tactics. In today's video, we are going to install official Elixir OS custom room on our Nothing Phone. Last time I reviewed Matrix OS that was an amazing custom room with a lot of customization. But today we are having an official custom room available for our Nothing Phone 2. So this is going to be an amazing video itself. And first of all, I'm going to show you the installation in this video. And only. after this video, in around one or two days, I'll uh, put the review video as well. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to Tactics. Now let's begin with installation steps. Here we're gonna use two different methods to flash Elixir OS on Nothing Phone 2. One of them is recovery method and another one is fastboot method. And I have downloaded both of the files Elixir OS for recovery and Elixir OS for fastboot. Fastboot version has fastboot in its name as you can see here and the size is 3.28 GB something. And uh, the recovery one is smaller in size. You have to also download platform tools so we can use ADB and fastboot commands. Once you download latest zip file for platform tools, extract that file anywhere onto your PC. Once you extract, you will get these files into that folder and we are going to use this folder to execute our commands. On your keyboard, press Ctrl plus L, you will get this text field, type PowerShell, hit enter, you will get this PowerShell window popped up. I will resize this PowerShell window. Now I will test if our fastboot commands are working or not. So just type dot slash fastboot space devices. This command will check if there is any device connected in fastboot mode or not. As you can see the command returned nothing so our device is not yet connected. So guys this is our nothing phone 2 and right now I'm using matrix source on this custom room. You can see this is having a great customization as well. Let me take you to the settings and about phone section. You can see this is Matrix OS and it is on Nothing Phone 2. Now, first of all, we will reboot our phone to bootloader mode. Okay. So for that, we are having a shortcut in this custom room. Just click on restart button, then click on bootloader and your phone will be rebooted into fast boot or you can say bootloader mode. Okay. So you can see our phone is right now in fast boot mode. It's showing fast boot device status unlocked. So your device should be unlocked as you might know. After that, connect your phone to PC with a good USB cable. Then we will use the same command we used previously to check fastboot connected devices. Dot slash fastboot space devices. This time you can see a serial number is visible and it is showing fastboot device connected. Now for flashing the custom room, type dot slash fastboot space update space. After the space, just drag and drop this uh, fastboot version of Elixir OS into the PowerShell window like this. So address will be pasted automatically. I will just maximize this window so it will be visible in good space. Dot slash fastboot space update space the location of your uh, fastboot version of Elixir OS. Once you hit enter, the ROM will start flashing automatically. So now you have to wait for a few minutes and then you will get a pop up on your nothing phone 2 for booting into recovery mode. So you have to do that. Okay, let's wait for that. Okay guys, so it's gonna take around 3 to 4 minutes to flash all of the boot partition files uh, including vendor boot.img. Okay, once it is done, your phone will automatically reboot and once it is rebooted, you will see this warning screen on the phone. Just double press the power button and your phone will reboot into project Elixir recovery and the installation will be continued after that. After taking 6 to 7 more minutes, your phone will be successfully flashed to your Nothing Phone 2. As you can see, it is finished in total of 691 seconds and it will be automatically rebooted. But we don't want to do that because first we have to uh, format the data because we want that the phone should boot uh, successfully without any errors. So we will format data once. For that, just long hold power button and volume down button. So this will take your phone back to bootloader mode or you can say fast boot mode. Once your phone is booted into fast boot, just uh, use volume keys to select recovery mode and press power button to boot into recovery mode. Once your phone is booted, you will see this warning again. Just double press the power button again and then your phone will be back to project Elixir recovery. Now to format data, you can see there is an option for factory reset. So just click on factory reset, then format data. And once the data is formatted, we are good to reboot our phone. Go back and just press reboot. Again, your phone will be rebooted. You will get this warning again. Double press the power button and wait for the phone to boot. In few seconds, you will see Project Elixir boot animation. And after few seconds, the phone will be booted into Project Elixir custom room. So guys, that was super easy method of flashing ROM via fastboot. Now we are having a recovery method as well. So we are basically going to use recovery side load. So first of all, let me clear this PowerShell window so it can be visible in a clear manner. So that's it. Now let me minimize this window for a few seconds. And you remember that we have downloaded the recovery version of Project Elixir. So you have to download it as well if you want to flash using recovery. Okay. I have this stable Orange Fox recovery available for Nothing Phone 2, which is maintained by Fat Walrus. So thanks to him. Now uh, we have to extract recovery.img from this Orange Fox zip file. And we will flash this on our Nothing Phone 2. Okay. So let me just split the screen here. 
and just make sure that your phone is connected to your PC in fast boot mode. To confirm that, type dot slash fast boot space devices, hit enter. You will see the serial number visible here. That means it's working. Now to flash the recovery, type dot slash fast boot space flash space recovery space. After this space, just drag and drop recovery dot img to this PowerShell window. For your information, let me tell you that instead of Orange Fox recovery, you can also use Project Elixir recovery to sideload the recovery row. But I'm gonna use Orange Fox recovery and it is also successfully flashed. So now we can reboot our phone to the recovery mode. To do that, just use volume keys to select recovery mode, press power button to boot into recovery mode. Your phone will go black and it will be rebooted, but it will show this warning screen, double press the power button. In a few seconds, you will see Orange Fox recovery logo pop up on your screen. The first thing you're gonna do when you boot into Orange Fox Recovery is click on this wipe tab. Then click on format data type YESGS. Then press this right button. And in few seconds your data will be wiped. That means formatted. So uh, make a backup if you want to keep your important stuff. Now you can see the data is formatted. Nothing is visible. What we're gonna do here is go to menu. Click on ADB and side load. You can choose to wipe cache and just hit the slider. Once you've done that your phone will be in side load mode. While you're doing all of this, make sure your phone is connected to your PC. Now on your PC, type dot slash adb space side load space, then drag and drop the recovery version of Project Elixir to this PowerShell window again. Okay, just first let me maximize the screen. Okay, so after uh, doing this command, we just have to hit enter. That's all. So let me hit enter. As you can see, as I hit the enter button, uh, the daemon is started running for adb. And once ADB started running, you can see the percentage is visible here. That means the room has started flashing successfully. Now we have to wait here for a few minutes. On your phone, you can see it is showing step 1 of 2. But on your PC, once the flashing percentage hits 47, you can see on your phone it will be visible step 2 of 2. And in few more seconds, your flashing will be done. It will be showing total X for 1.00x. So guys, that means we have successfully flashed Project Elixir using ADB sideload method on Orange Fox Recovery. Now we can simply go back and I will always choose to format data once again. So go to wipe tab, click on format data, type yes, hit enter. Once it is done, you can simply reboot your phone. Your phone will go black, it will again show nothing logo and after that warning, press the power button twice. Once it is done, you will see nothing logo again and few seconds again you will see the project Elixir boot animation and your phone will be successfully booted. So we have successfully flashed project Elixir using side load on Orange Fox recovery. So guys that's how you can install project Elixir custom room uh, which is official by the way on your nothing phone too. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please press the like button and please subscribe to channel if you're not already because I'm putting the next video very soon. So let's meet the next video thanks for watching have a great day and keep fresh